Happy birthday to legendary hip hop artist and actor Busta Rhymes. Xavier back again with another video and welcome back to another edition of my Throwback Thursday Attitude Era Rants. So y'all know today's been 20 years since the 2001 Judgment Day aired on pay-per-view. The pay-per-view took place at the Arco Arena in Sacramento, where it focuses on matches such as a no holds bar match for the WWF Championship between Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Undertaker, a chain match for the Intercontinental Championship between Kane and Triple H, and a two out of three falls match between Chris Benoit and Kurt Angle for Kurt Angle's 1996 Olympic gold medals. This was the last Judgment Day pay-per-view under the World Wrestling Federation name a year before the company changed its name to World Wrestling Entertainment. This was the first Judgment Day and second Attitude Era pay-per-view without the presence of The Rock, who in storyline was indefinitely suspended, but in real life was taking time off to film The Scorpion King. So before I show you all the highlights, here are the matches. We had not one, but two matches that aired on Sunday Night Heat on MTV as the pre-show. The first Sunday Night Heat match was a singles match between Raven and Val Venus. The winner was Raven. The second pre-show match that aired on Sunday Night Heat on MTV, a tag team match between Kai and Ty and the Holly Cousins. The winners were the Holly Cousins. First match of the 2001 Judgment Day pay-per-view. William Regal versus Rikishi. Next, the two out of three falls match. Chris Benoit versus Kurt Angle for Kurt Angle's 1996 Olympic gold medals. The first match was just a normal wrestling match. The second match was a submission match and the third match was a ladder match. A triple threat match for the Hardcore Championship. Paul White versus Tess versus Rhino. A women's championship match. Lita versus China. The chain match for the Intercontinental Championship. Kane versus Triple H. A tag team turmoil match determined who will be the number one contenders for the tag team championship. The tag teams that were in this match were the APA, Dean Malenko and Perry Saturn, the Dudley Boys, the X Factor, X Pac and Just Incredible, the Hardy Boys, Edge and Christian, and Chris Jericho and Chris Benoit. And the main event, a no holds barred match for the WWF Championship. The Undertaker versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now, without further ado, here are the highlights from the 2001 WWF Judgment Day pay-per-view. Oh no, not the stink face. Mm.
That was incredible. So that wraps up my Throwback Thursday Attitude Era Rant highlights of the 2001 Judgment Day pay-per-view. If you're new here, hit subscribe if you'd like the content and hit that notification bell for my next Attitude Era Rant. Get this video a thumbs up or thumbs down. Leave your comment down below. Appreciate you watching on my IGTV. I'll be back tomorrow showing... Um, 
talk a uh, recap of Tuesday through today's games between the Houston Astros and the Oakland Athletics and reminiscing 20 years of a tag team championship match between Chris Benoit and Chris Jericho versus the two-man power trip, Stone Cold Steve Austin and Triple H from the May 21st, 2001 edition of Raw is War. And if I have time tomorrow, I'll try to do a video reaction to the notorious B.I.G. in honor of his birthday. Don't follow your dreams. Chase them. Peace. If you smell what the rock is cooking. And that's the bottom line. Cause Stone Cold said so.